Hi, my name is Claire, and I'm here to recommend Anne Bogle's I'd Rather Be Reading, The Delights and Dilemmas of the Reading Life. I like to think of this book as an ode to your own personal reading journey. It takes you back to the books that shaped you. Do you remember the book you read when you fell in love with reading? What about the audiobook you listened to on that long trip? Or the nonfiction book that changed the way you looked at things? Or the books that you loved as a child and still love today? Often I don't actively think about the books I've read. I forget, but this book helps me remember. I'd Rather Be Reading is a collection of essays, a quick light read written in engaging and personable style. It covers a variety of topics ranging from how to organize your bookshelf to the guilt associated with literary sins. What are literary sins, you ask? They're your guilty reads, those books you secretly enjoy reading but don't want to admit to having read. Or they could be literary reading gaps, like those must-reads, those classics that you haven't read and you don't really want to read. We all have them, so what are yours? Another of her chapters is on the books that find you. As readers, we carefully select what book we're going to read next, but sometimes a gift or recommendation can take us by surprise. This book reminds you to be open to the unexpected possibilities. And as an added bonus, isn't this cover just beautiful? I know we're not supposed to judge books by their covers, but this one is just so pretty. As a side note, Don't Overthink It by the same author is also an excellent read. I highly recommend that as well. But back to this book. I like to think of this book talk as more than just a recommendation for one book. It's also a recommendation for all the books you've read in the past and all the books you will read in the future. Here's a quote from the author herself. I hope readers find that this beautiful book does exactly what it set out to do. Entertain readers and delight them, make them laugh and maybe get a little teary. Cause them to nod in understanding and pause to consider their own reading lives. I hope this book inspires readers to remember why they fell in love with reading in the first place and to look to the shelves and libraries and bookstores and even their own homes with renewed enthusiasm. I hope this book places more than a few new-to-you titles on readers' TBRs and prods them to return to old favorites. This book should inspire you to reminisce over your reading journey and to look forward to the many new books and rereads that will grace your life and influence you going forward. I hope you enjoy.